Hello, I'm Kat and welcome to 10 Minutes Long. Today I am going to be making a parsnip soup. It's an interesting one because I have never made parsnip soup before, so you'll be, I guess, learning with me on this one. for any noise in the background at this point because we have it's like really stormy today there's a storm going on um, and uh, part of the beauty or charm of this flat that the landlord doesn't feel is worth fixing is that one of the windows doesn't um, fit properly in the kitchen and as a result uh, when it's windy you just get this noise that kind of goes woo, woo, like that sounds like a ghost uh, and it gets pretty loud um, when it gets windy so if that happens my apologies um so what i'm doing now is slicing there it goes what i'm doing now is slicing slicing an onion the wind does not like me talking uh, slicing an onion into strips because the recipe calls for uh, caramelized onions now i've never caramelized onions before but i spent some time last night reading up on what that involves uh, and it said you should slice the onions pretty thin um, and then just kind of cook them really really slowly in oil so I forgot to put oil in here I'm going to do that now it does say to use olive oil oh my god this is so noisy it does say to use olive oil but it's quite calorific so I'm actually just going to use loads of spray oil instead going to leave them at it while I peel the veg and stuff. I'll just keep my eye on them and make sure that they don't burn. Um, and then maybe a little bit um, further into the process I might add just a little bit of balsamic vinegar because that seems to be a common thing. I just realised I need honey for the other parts of the recipe so I'm just going to pull that out. So what this recipe requires is for you to roast the vegetables involved. Um, so that's going to be parsnips, cauliflower and garlic. And we're going to chuck them into this roasting tin along with some olive oil and some honey and some thyme and uh, we're going to roast them and once they're roasted it's literally a case of adding in these some stock and just washing it up with a blender so that's why i chose this recipe because i thought that looks nice and simple
recipe calls for um, six cloves of garlic, which is fine, I love garlic, so I'm on board with this. the garlic and the recipe now says to add um, a tablespoon of honey, a tablespoon of fresh thyme. I'm going to use dried though because if I buy fresh thyme I'm not going to use it all and I don't like being wasteful. Um, so I don't know what difference dried will make really but that's what I'm using. And um, two tablespoons of oil so obviously i'm going to split that across each tray let's say one tablespoon of honey Even though it says just one tablespoon of honey, I'm actually going to put a little bit more in because I really like honey and I think it will go really nicely with this recipe. Preheated my oven because it's old and uh, my oven ramps up so it doesn't really need preheating. Like, as soon as I turn the oven on, it will just ramp and ramp and ramp. So, if yours doesn't do that and you've got a good oven, you probably want to preheat it. So, everything's pretty nicely roasted. The onions are quite nicely caramelised. Um, what's left now is to create stock and then just wash it all up together. Alright, so this is a new one for me. Um, I'm actually doing a voiceover. Check me out. How weird is that? Um, so I had to do a voiceover because the wind was just like super loud and that's why you can see me like talking to the camera but actually no sound is being recorded because um, obviously as well this part speeded up so like if I kept the audio I sound like a chipmunk which is awesome uh, anyway so you can see here that what I did was I made a stock and I just used a stock pot rather than a cube um, because stock cubes I find give it like a weird flavor so I just used a generic stock pot and then I zhushed it up with the blender now in a second you're going to see that the blender um, after I combined the two and blended it a little bit more, um, the blender actually started fizzing, not from the motor, but from the actual bottom of the blender. Uh, it started fizzing and smelling really bad, so I probably would have blended it a little bit more, but I broke my blender, so that was fun. Um, I mean, when I move anyway, I want to get a better blender, so it wasn't a massive deal, and it did at least wait until the soup was done, so that was useful. Uh, so anyway, I blended it. Um, and then at the end of this clip, I had to end it pretty early to keep it on 10 minutes. Um, you can see me trying it, very tasty. Um, and I did just add a little bit of salt and pepper to it, which I don't think was in the recipe, but it did need just a little salt, not tons. Uh, and that was it. That is how you make a parsnip soup. Highly recommended recipe. Mm -hmm.